You know what I should do? I should come up with like a like a jingle for these really short videos that are just showing off and giving away a free preset. That's a pretty good idea. I don't really know what to do with my YouTube end plates. What I have been doing is just cutting to black and then using one of the default settings in the YouTube uploader to just splash some previous videos up. But I know that there are a lot of people out there who do really creative things and they even integrate them in their video. So I got thinking. And then when I was done thinking, I had a new free effect. So today, I'm just gonna show off this effect for you really quick and then give it away. A download link will be in the description, so stick around to find out exactly how to use it when you get it. Let's get started. Here I have my most recent video, and as you can see, when I got done talking, it just cut to black. But instead, what I'm gonna do is go to that last frame, pull this video in, come back a bit. So I am still in the meat of my video. I have muted audio, that's why you're not hearing anything, if you're curious. But then I'm going to cut. I just cut up playhead with my keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna select this clip at the end of my video and turn that into a compound clip or a fusion clip. I'm gonna choose compound clip, create that. And then in my effects library, you'll see that I have added a new SSC YouTube end plate effect. And you'll see it'll preview. And this is what we'll end up, but actually I'm gonna grab this drag it onto that compound clip. And if I go to the beginning of that compound clip, you'll see that what this does is it takes your main video and then shrinks it down into the corner so that you can start showing off your end plate data while your video is still ongoing. You have a space for a little message there. You can say, thank you, like, and subscribe. And then two more windows to recommend other videos for your viewers to watch. You'll notice I have a little bit of a delay, especially the first few times I played through this. So if you want this to cache, you can right click on that compound clip and go to render cache fusion output and toggle that on. And then it'll get this red render bar and that will render out. And when it's fully blue, you'll have completely smooth playback. This is playing back a little smoother, but I'm also recording in OBS. So we'll see how that goes. I think this is a really great solution because you get the benefits of the end plate recommending all those other videos, this message, but because your video is still ongoing, hopefully you'll get a better retention. Hopefully best of both worlds. And because we use a compound clip, this can get really interesting. Say I wanted to wrap up my video, but then cut to this gameplay clip that I've used in a previous video. Then we can cut this clip, select both those clips. And of course you have customizable settings. If you select this compound clip in the inspector, in the effects, you will have full control over these two lines of text. You can change this to whatever you want, and you have full controls over the font, color, size, and I even add this vertical anchor if you want to slide these up or down a little bit for reformatting. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. But that's all. It's a free effect. A download link will be in the description. Download it and install it by dragging the setting file to the file path in the accompanying README. And then the effect will appear in the effects library on the end page. And you can drag it over your clips and end your YouTube videos in style. Thanks. I'll see you next time.